Welcome to Springboro 45066, Part 2. The TV News Magazine of Springboro, Ohio. On Part 2 of our May-June show, Kerry talks to Marcia Kelly about Art Fest. Coming at us in the Historic District on June 16th. David Thompson of the Kaufman Family YMCA talks about early summer programming and introduces us to the new aquatics director. The crew at Heatherwood Golf Club gives us a golf update, and part two of our show also features local businesses that give back. Carrie continues by talking to Pat Zerman in the White Dove Circle of Love and Light. On Meet Your Neighbor, we'll talk to Dee Bimbo, longtime resident and stalwart of our community. Carrie and I are coming at you right now at the Freeburg United Church of Christ, and it's all happening right now on 45066, part two. Welcome to 45066, part two. Carrie, here we are again. I We're know. still at the church. We are. We're still red, white, and blue. Absolutely. We're still moving and shaking. As always. As always. Okay, where are we going first? We are going to Main Street to the Historic Business District to chat with Marsha Kelly, who is on the board of the newly founded Springboro Arts Council to talk about the first annual Art Fest. All right. All right, thank you. We are standing here in the center of the historic Springboro Business District with Marsha Kelly, owner of Image Market and board member of the Springboro Arts Council. Marsha, welcome to the show. Thank you, Carrie. Well, so we're here to talk about the newly formed Springboro Arts Council and then also the Springboro Arts Council's very first event, which is going to be Art Fest on Main Street 2018. Marsha, tell us a little bit about the event. Great. This event is going to be on June 16th okay. from 10 to 6 o'clock. Okay. And it's going to be, of course, right here on Main Street. And we are really excited about it. We're going to have local and regional artists. Okay. We're going to have food vendors. Right. We're going to have musicians. Yes, live music. And we would love the community to just come out and help us support the Arts Council. Uh -huh. It's gonna be just such a fun day. And, and you know, what I think is really interesting is that this is a juried art show. So it's not just anybody, you know, it's not a starving artist show. This right. is an actual juried art show. These, you know, artists have, have basically submitted their work. They've been approved. It's right. fine arts, fine crafts. And we have already so many wonderful artists. That's and, wonderful. And coming from glass to, um, anything, any type of jewelry, um, you know, we have artists from all over the region. That's wonderful. Very exciting. So 10 to 6 on June 16th. Now, if someone maybe hasn't gotten their application in for the 2018 show, you know, are, there's going to be an Art Fest 2019. So right. I'm yeah. guessing the committee would like, you know, for artists for next year even to contact right. us. But we are still looking for artists. We're still looking for musicians. Okay. We're looking for volunteers in the okay. community that might even want to come and help us set up and sure. take down that day. We just like everyone to get involved. Um, so it's so wonderful for Springboro yeah. to have an arts council. Yeah, yes, it it's is. It's about time, isn't it? It is about time. We need to bring some art to our community. We really do. And one thing I'm excited about is that we're going to have a little section of the show for youth art. So, it, you know, it does appeal to all ages. Right, it is. We, we really need to get the children from the community out here right. and their parents. Absolutely. Well, so I was going to say, you made us these gorgeous... Art Fest on Main hats, and then you've got the sweatshirt. Yes. And then you're also wearing the limited edition necklace that will be sold at Art Fest. Right. Which is absolutely gorgeous. This will be a fundraiser. Okay. And we will be selling these for $49. It's beautifully made. It's copper and silver, and on the back, um, it'll say Art Fest 2018, and we'll have a limited edition piece every year. Wonderful. So there's going to be a commemorative piece every year. So you might as well start your collection now. That's correct. Wonderful, wonderful. So June 16th, right here in the Historic Business District, we're going to have food, fine arts, fine crafts, live music. Right. The businesses will be open. It's going to be a free event right. for all ages, so kid-friendly. And Rain or shine. Right. And they could go to artfestonmain.com. We also have a Facebook page. Okay. So they can find out more information on that there. Um, and we're also looking for donations. Anything from a $25 donation, patron of the arts, to a $10,000 donation. Wonderful. Wonderful. So that a great opportunity for business owners out there to get involved with right. the Spring Row Arts Council. Yes. Well, Marsha, thank you for being here. We appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you at Art Fest on June 16th. Thank you, Carrie. Back to you. Mm -hmm.
Thanks, Marsha. It's always a pleasure to chat with you on Main Street. Well, what time is it? I think it's time to Four. go to the YMCA. Y David Thompson is standing by, and he is our spokesperson to get us rolling. But David, we want to make sure that you are recognized for the great award that you received this week. Mm -hmm. Our board of directors uh, honored you, and Carrie brought it up this morning. It's just a great thing. I want to tell you we're very proud. Very few people have gotten that distinct honor, so thank you. And thank you for what you do for the Y. And, and they've got a new aquatics director at the I, Y. Yeah, they do. We get to chat with her. We do. Yeah. Let's go see that clip with David. Hmm? Thank you, Mayor, and welcome back to the Kaufman Family YMCA. My name is David Thompson. I'm the director of the local Y here in Springboro. It's our privilege today to talk to you a little bit about the mission work of the YMCA. As one of the area's largest nonprofit charitable organizations, it's important that you understand some of the things that we do in order to fulfill the mission work of the YMCA. One of the things that we're excited to talk to you about today is that for the second year in a row, our YMCA is going to be offering free summer memberships to every child that's going into the seventh and eighth grade. The seventh and eighth grade, as you may know, middle school is a very tough time for kids. Typically, parents are able to structure their summer activities for children that are in grade school and kids that are in high school or driving. They have all sorts of opportunities for them. But what we've found is that kids that are going into seventh and eighth grade oftentimes are left alone. And sometimes when they're left alone, maybe they're in front of the TV or the computer or their phone a little bit too long or they might just be getting in a little bit of trouble around the neighborhood. Well, here at the YMCA, we want to be a safe place where we can have activities and a place where kids can come and enjoy their summer. And so if you know of a kid in the area that's, looking, that's going into seventh or eighth grade, that's looking for an opportunity to maybe plug in somewhere, we want to be that place. Feel free to come to the Kaufman Y, speak with our membership director, and see how you might be able to get your child or your grandchild involved here at the YMCA for the summer. The other thing that we wanna share with you today is a little bit about our free Safety Around Water Week. Safety Around Water Week is a week of swimming lessons or water acclimation classes that we provide to kids. And in, we've got somebody who is uh, brand new to the Kaufman YMCA, our new aquatics director, Sarah Terrell, is here to tell you all about that. Sarah? Thanks, David. Um, I'm glad to be here as the new aquatics director over at Kaufman YMCA. Let's talk a little bit about our safety around water week. It will be June 4th through the 8th. Swim lessons will run Monday through Thursday with a family swim day on Friday. They are for children. We actually group them by grades. So they're for kindergarten through sixth grade, completely free. You can pick up a registration form here at the Kaufman Y. You can also register online or pick up one of these, and register using one of these. As always, we offer swim lessons for children ages six months all the way to competitive swimming. Thanks, Mary. Now back to you. Thanks, Sarah. I hope you love your new job. We're glad to have you as our new aquatic director. Well, we did the swimming and all the good stuff at the Y. Now it's time to go and relax a little bit, play a little golf, and get the run down at Heatherwood. Tom West, our general manager, is standing by. Let's go talk to Tom. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Well, it's awfully uh, nice outside, and I want to tell you about our party on the decks. Every Wednesday night starts at 6 o'clock and runs to 9.30. This year we have three different bands, a uh, little bit uh, of variety for you. We have some jazz, some easy listening, and uh, again, come out on Wednesday nights, party on the deck, it's outside. We're also incorporating this year again our bourbon and cigar nights, which will be on top of the deck. We have the walk-in humidors you can see maybe behind me for the cigars. But again, Wednesday nights, party on the deck. I know Matt's gonna to talk to you a little bit about our new GC quad that we just purchased, some of the uh, new merchandise we have in the shop. But the other thing I wanna to talk to you about is the clubhouse. The clubhouse, we've finished with our renovations. I highly encourage you to come out and take a look, especially for the ones that are looking for some banquet business, wedding. Uh, we have two very, very nice banquet facilities, so please come out and take a look. Now over to you, Matt. Ladies and gentlemen, Tell me something, could you use 20 more yards? Well, from my experience, I found that most golfers could. My stew colleague, Neil, he's holding the newest weapon that's gonna help us 
let you unload that 20 more yards and find it in your game. So this is the Foresight GC Quad. It's a launch monitor. What it does, it gives us data. All these data points, it looks like a lot of numbers and mumbo jumbo. We interpret that data to make sure that you've got the exact right fit for your game. In our experience, the average player does not have clubs that fit. When they come out and get a uh, launch monitor fitting with the GC Quad, we're seeing gains of anywhere from 15 to 30 yards of carry with their driver. Not only that, we can fit your wedges, putter, irons, the whole bag right here with this little machine we've got. So make sure you call us, call the Pro Shop any day. We'll set you up with an appointment. It takes about uh, 60 minutes to get it done, but we'll go right through it. And make sure you bring your trades because we do love trade-ins here at Heatherwood. Another exciting thing I wanted to tell you about, we're now proud to, proud to offer Vineyard Vines apparel. I'm sure you've seen it around. It's kind of known by the little pink whale on it, but stop in the shop and check it out. We've got a great selection. With that, we're gonna send it over to Erica. Thanks, Matt. We are in full swing here at Heatherwood Golf Club. The summer season is finally here. I know you're as excited as we are. Weddings, graduation parties every weekend, so keep that in mind for next year. I am booked until November, December of 2018. So if you have holiday parties, do not wait. Get in. If you have Friday, Saturday, those go quick, so get a hold of me and get those set up. I am touring for 2019, 2020 calendar years for weddings and all events, business meetings, etc. So get a hold of me. I am booked for May of 2019 thus far. So keep in mind grab parties and wedding dates that you have in mind. Come in, claim them, see me, get them before they are gone. So give me a call at 748-3222. I'm at extension six or visit us online at golfheatherwood.com. Back to you, Mayor. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Eric. I know you're booking a lot of events. We get the rounds up. We're cooking, as always, at Heatherwood. Thanks for all that you do there. So, we're taking our stroll down Main Street, huh? We are. We are. We've got another business that gives back. I love doing this series this year. It's, it's really neat to see all of the business owners that contribute to the community kind of in, you know, different ways. This time we got to chat with Pat Zimmerman. She is in the Historic Business District. She is a healing practitioner and she offers such services as, you know, Reiki, meditation. She's a fascinating woman with a really fascinating center. So let's go check it out. Okay. Hmm? We are at the White Dove Circle of Light and Love with a very special guest. Pat Zimmerman. Pat, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me with you. Well, so your facility is absolutely beautiful. You're located here in the historic Springboro Business District. Tell us a little bit about what you do, just for, you know, the community members that, that maybe aren't familiar with the center. White Dove Circle of Light and Love is a nonprofit organization, and we help people to heal. Healing is not just physical, it's on all levels. So we teach and we also help people to find true healing for the mind, body, and spirit. When the mind and spirit are in sync and feeling good, the body, it will flow into the body. All healing takes place on a spiritual level first mm -hmm. and then flows into the physical body. If you're only looking at the physical body to find a cure, you're only looking at one small part of who we really are and you will never understand healing. Wow, that's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Really, really fascinating. So t tell us a little bit about you know, how you came to Springboro, because I understand you're not from Springboro. No. What brought you, uh, you know, in the center to Springboro? I live up in Troy, and another, my founding board member, Jim Wachter, lived in Cincinnati. So we were holding classes out of our homes in both places. We had people coming from Kentucky, people coming from Lima, from uh, Indiana, from um, Columbus, all over, how we started when they were physically coming. And so we needed a place that was going to be centrally located and we were growing so that we needed to come out of the houses. So that's how we started. A year ago, we opened up, this is really White Dove Wellness Center. It's an offshoot of White Dove Circle. We also have White Dove Learning Center, which is also a part where we, we teach classes and give certificates for life coach and wellness advocate. We do many, many different things. And so we have the gift shop here. We also have a wellness clinic, and this is what we do to help give back for many people. So on the first and third Tuesday of the month from three to seven, and if we need to make that larger, we always can, but this is where we're at right now. 
anyone who would like to try energy healing for the first time, energy healing is like Reiki, they can come and it's free for the first time. Those who can't afford healing, it's free. They can come anytime to the wellness clinic because our belief here is healing should be for everyone, not just those who can afford it. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And that's why we've chosen, you know, to feature you as one of our businesses that give back. If you would kind of give us an overview of what all you offer here at the center, because I, I, I you know, obviously we were chatting before we uh, started rolling the camera and, and I know there's so much that goes on here. Mm -hmm. We do many different types of healing services. Most people have heard of Reiki and that's just one of them. But we go way back beyond into many other things. I do past life regression and I do crystal surgery. Crystal surgery is where you're using crystals to work on the spirit body and then you put uh, the spirit body back into the physical and the healing is automatic. It takes place right away and it does wonderful work if the person is ready. The only one who heals is the person themselves when he or she is ready. So if they are, have an open mind, they want to believe that it is possible, anything can happen. We see miracles taking place here every day. It's wonderful. So we have that part of it. We also have the school where we teach over 185 different classes. It's according to when somebody's ready. We will teach a class for one person or for a big group. It doesn't matter. It's all about the person and their, their growth. So the classes are in health and healing. So we teach nutrition and all that as well. Health and healing, creativity and well-being self-improvement, many, many classes for self-improvement because so many people have no self-worth, no value. Sure. So we help with that. We teach metaphysics and metaphysics is the science of beyond the physical. So it's dealing with the spirit. Uh, we do teach sacred teachings. We do a lot of different classes here. We also help teach um, intuitive development. Everybody has the ability. We've just been told we don't only select people have, and that's not true. So we help people to develop their intuition to help guide them through life. We also have over here, we do movement exercises such as the Alexander Technique. And then on the other end over here, we do yoga and Pilates. Uh, we also have retreats here. Um, trying to think what all we have, but we have a lot of different things. We just had our big taste of healing. Event. I was going to ask you about that. Please tell us about that. And you had a, a film crew from, uh, from Great Britain come to do a bit of a documentary on you. Yes. How so exciting. We're going to be a part of it. He's doing it on others as well. But we were asked to be a part of it, so that was wonderful. What an honor. Mm -hmm. We were very grateful. Yeah, tell us about your, your taste of healing. The Taste of Healing started out at my house nine years ago. We did it one day, once a year, and now it's grown to three times a year, five days long each time. During that Taste of Healing, we have, four, this last time we had 14 different healing practitioners here, all at different times, sometimes the same time. But everybody was do, doing different work so you could sign up for a session and come in and have your sessions. We also had workshops during the day and other events at night, we, like we had a drumming circle, we had meditation one night, um, we did a group channeling, we had art therapy, uh, and my niece came down and taught an art class, my mother did a jewelry making class, because that's all part of healing, bringing us into that state of calm again once more. Sure, sure. Now, are your services available to people of all ages? All ages, all types. Okay. The. Um, my favorite one, my favorite story I love to tell was a two-year-old boy where he had had eye cancer and the, the medical establishment radiated his eyes so badly that he was going to lose both eyes. And just with one of our healing blankets that I've infused energy into the energy that I channel, and um, with, with that, within 12 weeks time, his eyes had completely healed. He is still has his eyes. He's still 20-20 vision, and I think he's about seven or eight years old. Now. My goodness, what a beautiful story! Mm -hmm. Wow. We see many different things. We've seen cancer disappear overnight. A good friend of mine had Bell's palsy. Her sure. whole side of the face had dropped, and within five days she was back to normal. Oh Everything my goodness, is that's natural. unheard of. And wow. she had had Bell's palsy for three months, which is really unheard of to go back. But within five days, that was all it took, and she was back to where she was. We've seen many, many have worked with people with nerve damage, sciatica, sciatica. We, we also teach one of the, my, we have some major classes that I develop that I teach. And one of them is how every emotion affects the body in a different way. Mm -hmm. 
medical establishment will only say that it's stress that sure. causes the problem, but it's not. It goes more than that. Stress is an emotion. Oh, wow. That is, that's fascinating. So every emotion will land in your body in a different way. When you're going through a trauma, you have 18 to 24 hours to release the trauma. If not, you store it in your body. When it builds up, that's when we start having problems. So the legs move us forward in life. The arms have to do with getting a, your arms around something. The liver holds extreme anger. Um, cancer is only repressed anger. I don't care what the doctors call it. It is repressed anger. So for us, how do we help them disappear overnight? We help them look at what's, where this anger is coming from. We help them to release it, and we teach them ways to move forward so that they do not connect back with that anger again. That's how you truly release cancer. You do not need chemo and, and uh, radiation and all that. It is not necessary. My sister was fourth stage cancer. I know that you do not need it. If it's her choice to live and she chooses to and she's ready to heal, you have to keep an open mind. If you don't, you're the one, only one hurting yourself. Sure. Anything is possible if you believe. I, I love that. Anything is possible if you believe. Now, if someone wanted to reach you regarding your services, how's the best way to find you? The best way, they can either go to our website, which is www.whitedovecircle.com or, or .org. We have both. One will lead you to the other. Okay. Or they can give us a call at 937-806-3231. Right now, we're only here by appointment only or when we have a class. Eventually, we'll be open more often. But if we know that somebody needs us, we're always there for them. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank you for giving back to our community. And thank you for choosing Springboro for your center. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure chatting with you today. Pleasure chatting with you And we as hope well. you'll come back on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pat. It was an honor to uh, be in your center, and we look forward to chatting with you again. Is that a drum roll? It's time for part two, and Dee Bimbo is our part two Meet Your Neighbor. Let's go talk to Dee. Hmm? Part two of 45066. Dee Bimbo, thank you for being our Meet Your Neighbor segment. You are I know you didn't want to con you into it, but thank you for getting to church for today to get our tosses and everything done. Thank Good. you so much. Good. We have things to tell you about the church. Oh, I know you will. Yes. Well, before we do that, let's talk about you. Okay. Okay, you've been in the community for a long time. I've been here almost 35 years. That's fantastic. It is. And yes. during that time, your son played football for me at yes. Springboro when I coached. Yes. That was a great time. Yes. And you've been involved with this church for a very, very long time. I've been a member of this church for 34 years. Oh, my goodness. 34 years. And how long have you been running the choir? 22. Have you really? 22 That's years. a real commitment. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Each and every Sunday. They're lucky to have you. But they're, I work with a wonderful group of people, and they're, not all of them read music, but I, I tell them every time we start something new, and they say, oh, Oh, we don't know whether we like this. That's why we practice. <laughs> we keep practice. practicing yeah. until we get There's it right. There's a reason right. practice, that's, that's right. That's right. Well, why don't you tell the audience a little bit about yourself? Okay. I am retired now. Okay. Six years. Been retired. Thank you. Thank you. I worked in the insurance in industry for almost 40 years. A couple of different agencies, but um, long-time insurance agent. So uh, I am enjoying retirement. You know, it's good to get up in the morning and say, oh, what do I have to do today? Uh, who, who needs some, something done for them? Or uh, I'm going to read my book today. So it's, a, it's an interesting life right now. And children? I have two sons, both graduated from Springboro High School, uh, Craig in uh, 1989 and David in 92. Uh, Craig uh, went to Ball State to college. He lives in, in north of Indianapolis. And David graduated in 92, and he lives in Dayton and is in the con construction business. All right. They're both doing good. Yes, both doing good. Yeah, well, that's great. As, as our former Meet Your Neighbor, Kevin Hughes, talked, it's great when our kids are successful. Yes. Makes you feel it good. Is. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, well, why don't you tell us a little about the church? Springboro United Church of Christ, as it's named now, is the oldest German Reformed church west of the Alleghenies. It was formed, established in 1802. 
We have beautiful stained glass windows in our sanctuary that are dedicated and probably the founding families were responsible to have those put in. The sanctuary building was built in 1860s and 1860s. The part where we're in now was added on in the late 50s and then we added on another uh, addition in uh, early 2000. So it's a, a growing, it's a, it's a moving, it's a busy congregation. We always have something going on here. We have a wonderful active youth group. They have been on mission trips all over the United States. They are going to uh, Houston, Texas this summer to help build houses for people that lost things in the, fl in the floods. Fantastic. We are very busy. We have a lot going on. We love Springboro. One thing that Springboro has been very, very kind to us about is our Oktoberfest. Everybody loves Oktoberfest. The community has absolutely accepted and supported us in this effort. We've done this for five years. This coming Hard September. Hard to believe it's been five years. This, this September is our sixth year. The reason that we started the Oktoberfest project is to build a new building uh, west of the, the church here. We want to use that for mission work. Um, our, our youth uh, group has gone to different cities in the United States. They've always been welcomed. They've been housed at places where they're helping the communities. We want to be that uh, welcoming place for Cincinnati and Dayton communities, for people who come in to do mission work in this area. And we're, so we're working on some plans to replace that small building with a, a place that's going to be mission central, we hope, for this area. And you really, the giving here, you give back to the community in so many ways. I know that you, so part of the money goes for the church, but you also give money to the food pantry and charities and stuff like that. Right. That's a great thing. Absolutely. And the Purple, the Purple Heart uh, group and uh, the Shriners Hospital. Shriners Hospital, yes, yeah. Yes, we ha right. usually have three to five charities that we tithe out of the uh, Oktoberfest uh, funds and we try to do uh, good work for the community. Well, this is a small church, but it does big things for the community, yeah. and everybody knows who you are, and that's we a do. great thing. Well, why, why don't you tell us uh, what you like about Springboro or don't like about Springboro? Okay, Springboro has lots of wonderful things going on from, from the expo in March, then your uh, uh, music in the park in July, we have and the Memorial Day uh, celebration that we have, which is wonderful on the Monday after mm -hmm. Memorial Day, the Monday, after yeah. Monday of Memorial Day, uh, and we have uh, Oktoberfest, and then we have Christmas in Old Springboro. So there's a lot, a lot of, of things nice. going on. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of spirit, and uh, I think people are very, very uh, welcome here, and we have a lot for them to do. And it's people like you to make it special. Well, thank you, and you too. Well, you do a lot of work we, we to all work hard keep things to make rolling. It make, it, make a difference. That's the name <laughs> of the game, okay? Well, you have any closing comments for the audience? Come to Oktoberfest. This will be the second year in a row we're going to have wiener dog races again. That's a big thing. We have wonderful entertainment. We have the best German food of any of the festivals around here. Come and support the community. Come and have a fun evening with us. Wave bye, D Bimbo. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, D. Appreciate you being on the show. Well, we're getting ready. I know part of this will air in June, but before that, we have a Memorial Day weekend. We do. So for those of you not used to coming out, for those of you who are used to coming out, we hope to see you Monday. The parade starts at 2 p.m. sharp down 741. And we have our, obviously, our band. We have our Grand Marshal, who's Jim Kilgore this year. We have many military vehicles in the parade. We have many color guards in the parade. All those things. And we finally end up down at the Wade Field where we have our formal ceremony. There's no speeches. It's all red, white, and blue patriotism. Then we finish up the day with hamburgers and dogs and chips and cake and all that good healthy food. Uh, <laughs> and we get to say, spend a little time with one another. We don't say anything. We just spend a little time with one another. We bond and we thank our veterans and all those who serve. So if you've never been there, please come down and be a part of that. It's a great time. Carrie, obviously we got a lot going on. We do. Concerts apart, Memorial Day Parade, all the other things going on. There's always something happening in the borough, so stay tuned with these shows. If you've got any comments for Carrie and I, 
please let us know. We want the show to be the best it can be, and it can only be that way if you help us. So, way bye. We'll see you next time. See you next time. <laughs>